It takes me back to Mexico. Yeah? You know, this is what, you know, we have a party. Great flavor, fresh ingredients, you know. Crowd pleaser. There you go. Osiris Hoyle's success didn't come easy. Before he co-owned District Taco's seven locations, Hoyle was an 18-year-old Mexican immigrant who spoke no English. He arrived on a visa in Colorado and worked his way through the restaurant industry before moving into construction. He was making it, that is until 2008 when the housing bubble burst. I was never gonna forget that day because I begged for my job. My wife was pregnant, my health insurance was through the, uh, the company. Osiris tried to get work. He looked at construction jobs, even jobs back in the kitchen, anything he could get. I couldn't find anything, not even in the cooking, you know. But to keep up his spirits on the weekends, he'd invite friends and neighbors over for traditional Mexican food, the kind he learned growing up with his mother, who he says was a wonderful cook and a stickler for fresh produce. If I bring a, you know, a tomato that looks bad, I would go back again and pick one that looks good because she didn't like the vegetables to look bad. That's one of the things how I was able to choose, you know, good produce. Osiris cooked what he enjoyed eating, taking for granted how delicious those dishes were to others. But a neighbor and tech entrepreneur, Mark Wallace, blown away by the food, saw something that Osiris didn't. I eat my food and I love it, you know, and I just, I never thought that can be something big someday. And then he's the one who said, well, you know, when I go to Austin, Texas, I see these food trucks. And I'm like, a food truck? And he said, yeah, look at it, you know, go online, internet, and, and try to find out. So he did. I thought it was crazy. Why? Because who gives his money to somebody that doesn't have a really, you know, uh, profession? But you know? with all these people telling you how good you are, you couldn't feel that and, and believe that it might be true? I just needed a job. So I was like, really? Okay, fine, let's do it. Okay. You know, I was like, I have nothing to lose. I have no, no work, let's make it work. The cart took off thanks to savvy marketing on Twitter and changing up the menu daily. And in 2010, they opened up their first physical location. And even with a Chipotle right down the street from this location, District Taco is jam-packed. Hoyle says sometimes he still can't believe it. Dreams do come true, you know? The more you see it and the more positive you stay, you will be able to make your dream come true. Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're gonna motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.